All right, Capricorn, I'm back. So this is going to be a reading about your new person. So for those of you that are interested uh, interested in new people, this is going to be for you. So it's going to be kind of a quick glimpse of looking at how the overall relationship will go, their character traits or personality, and how they view you. So let's go ahead and get started. Oops, wrong one. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is going to be general, so it may not be everyone's story. So only take what makes sense. Of course, manifestation is always on you guys. So if you want somebody like this, definitely manifest that. All right, so Capricorn, how is this connection going to be for your new person? How is the relationship going to go? What are some things that will come up or what needs to be known about this? So what are some things that will come up for Capricorn? All right, so we have um, healing family issues. So your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. We have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic, uh, magnetic attraction here. And then we have finances and career. So financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So how this connection will kind of start off is that you guys will be definitely have chemistry um you guys may relate to one another because of family issues so parent parental issues that you may have had growing up maybe somebody didn't have their uh parent in the home or their parent was just very low vibrational um but definitely you guys do have a chemistry which is at the center of this relationship this new person you are going to join together in that situation you know come together because of your past history basically um, I do see here that somebody might not actually have the career or finances that you may be looking for. So I'm not saying that they're broke, but they may just be looking for that next step of what they want in their life. Um, we have very soon. So this person is going to be coming in <laughs> very soon and it'll be up to you to decide if you want to move forward in a relationship. Um, this could be somebody that you may have been talking to for a while and it just was like friendship based. And maybe a spark came to you or them and they want to move forward. Um, it could have also been held back because of finances. So maybe somebody just didn't feel like they had enough or that they can measure up to what you needed. So let's look at this person's character um, or personality traits, I should say. We'll say character. So how is this person's character going to be the new person for Capricorn? This new person for Capricorn, what can they expect? their new person to be like how can capricorn expect this new person to be Oops. damn my chemistry kind of blew up <laughs> how does capricorn expect them to be y'all got extra so we have protection this came out first so protection so Capricorn, this is how you're going to view them or how they're going to be towards you. Um, we have adventures. We have stillness. And then we have simplicity. So you guys are going to have somebody that is going to be very protective of you. Um, they are going to shield you from a lot of their drama. Is what I just heard. Um, but this person is going to be very adventurous. They're going to take you through adventures, um, give you things that you never expressed or never felt before, I should say. Road trips, trips, pop-ups, you know, basically telling you like, hey, we're going here. So that's something I feel like you guys are wanting someone to take the lead is what I'm getting with that. Um, with this stillness and simplicity, I feel like this person is going to be just like you. Just not the bare, not doing the bare minimum, but basically not being all out there and acting crazy. I feel like this person may have already gotten that out of, out of their system. And now is the time when they come together with you, they're going to be able to be calmer and still and enjoy this love that you guys are um, coming together with. We do have inner peace here. So you both are going to bring each other peace. Um, and I feel like you guys have both went through some chaotic situations in your past. Definitely, like I said, with your parental issues that you may have had. 
And I feel like both of you are just wanting inner peace. You don't want to be the same way that you were, that your parents were. You want to be different from them. So that's how you are going to view this person or this is the characteristics of this person in regards to you. So how does this person feel about Capricorn? What do they feel Capricorn brings to the table? Not like it matters, but what does this person feel Capricorn brings to the table? What does this person say Capricorn means to the table? And with my Oracle cards, I do not read them in reverse. So we have patience. I'm going to show you and then I'll talk about them. We have anxiety. <laughs> we have appreciation. Wow, this is great. And then we have six chakra and it's crazy because I saw this earlier before I even started and I didn't even know I was going to do Capricorn first, but we have the six chakra. So this is the third eye. So your person feels like you're going to bring knowledge to this connection, to this relationship, this new love that you have coming in. They're going to see that you appreciate them. Like you genuinely appreciate this person. You don't want nothing from this person but love. And so you're going to offer them appreciation. You're going to be patient with them when it comes to certain things, especially their finances, because I feel like there's going to be a difference between finances here. You guys are going to be the ones that are more stable, financially stable. This person may still be working on that. And I feel like that may give them anxiety um, because they feel like they're not good enough for you. So that definitely could be an issue in this new connection that you have with this person. But I do feel like they are appreciative of you. They do like the fact that you are genuine with them. There's nothing that you want. You're not using them. You just want their love. So they know they know that you know already anyways with the third, third eye being here. Um, at the bottom, we have storm warning. So I feel like um, this person and you could possibly cause some rifts or it could have been something that happens that makes you feel like, okay, well, I don't know. And I'm thinking triggered as well. So this person could trigger you, but I feel like it's something that you'll eventually get over. It's just been telling you to be cautious with this new person. So don't move too fast. Let them show you who they are. But I do see that this could actually, you know, resort to a good relationship. It's just that there are some things here that you want to be cautious about. Because the storm warning is just, you know, letting you know that danger could be coming. Just like, you know, I live in Texas. So when the sirens go off, it doesn't mean that it, sometimes it is there, but it doesn't mean that it's like actually there. They're just doing that as a precaution just in case. So I feel like that's your um, spirit guides basically telling you to be cautious just in case, you know, things don't go out that way. And also what I just heard is don't overthink something. Like don't make it out to be more than it is. Let it flow naturally. Because when you go against the natural order, of course, things are not going to fall in line. All right. So what are some overall things that will come up in this connection? For some overall situations that will come up in this connection. One more card, please. Okay, we got two. So we have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. We have purpose. I know what I am here to do. We have judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. And then we have health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So I feel like both of you going into this connection are not going to let mental health issues is what I just got affect anything. So I feel like this is a lot about the past stuff, but you guys are going to accept each other for who you are. You're not going to try and force each other to, to be what the other person is. So it's like opposites attract basically with this situation. Um, You both are going to know I was gonna say know your place but that sounds like bad you're gonna know what your duties are what your purpose is in this relationship 
and it's not to control there's like control is not even going to be here and i feel like both of you are going to be looking at this relationship as something that you do not want to lose because you felt that before and this is something that you are going to work hard on um we have acceptance here so i am learning to accept the things that i cannot change so like i said there's going to be opposites you guys are going to be opposite so this is something that you guys are going to grow to understand and be okay with because you know you're not the same and that's actually good because you don't want someone that's exactly like you because then it will actually cause problems because they are like you you know what you want they know what they want and there will be a clash all the time so i feel like that's something that you guys have to remember to prevent any fights i feel like that's the storm warning here is just be mindful that you guys are different and that's why the chemistry is here it's because you guys are different so that is just a little quick glimpse of what this new love is going to look like for you guys, Capricorn. I hope that that made sense to you guys and I will catch you in the next video.